A thriller at the Ted Old Dominion hosting in-state rival James Madison. A packed house, a story of two games and highlights you have to see to believe. I'm Bruce Rader, a throwback to the old CAA games, ODU hosting JMU. Plenty of fans from both teams in the stands, and if you left this one early, well, you're going to wish you hadn't. Brian Parsons didn't, and he has the story tonight. Brian? James Madison against Old Dominion, just like the old days of the CAA. JMU closed out the first half on a hot streak and led 37-32 to in the second half. JMU led by 15 points with four minutes to go. Game over, right? Not so fast. Xavier Green, the fadeaway jumper. Monarchs down six with 34 seconds to go. JMU struggled from the free throw line down the stretch and ODU capitalized Green. Again, the layup is good. Monarchs down four with 22 seconds to go. Then Malik Curry cuts the lead to three with 14 seconds to go. Missed free throws, a big problem for the Dukes. Here's another miss, ODU down two, time ticking away. Malik Curry, the last second shot from three point range is good. Chaos at Chartway Arena. Monarchs win 81 to 80, but hold everything. The refs go to the replay and Curry did not beat the buzzer. A few tenths of a second short, celebration over. So it's James Madison that walks away with the 80 to 78 win. ODU close, but not enough. I definitely thought I made that shot on time. I didn't see a replay, so I'm not sure if I got it off in time, but I thought I did. I, I really had no idea. I mean, I knew that they would they would review it. And, you know, the game wasn't lost on that shot. Losing's never fun, and, uh, you know, we, we didn't play very well, so it's, it's disappointing. Next up for Old Dominion, undefeated George Mason on Monday. In Norfolk, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap.